Hi, Jeff Haynes. Here we are at APEC, the launch of GAN Systems products. We've been in stealth for five years now, and all of a sudden, it's all here. Looking over here, gallium nitride on silicon carbide wafers, a CMOS wafer for the driver, the custom driver that our die sits on. If you look down here, you can see just how small that die is, two millimeters by two millimeters. It doesn't look like anything other than a fly. Well, no, it's not even a fly, it's a flea. Down here, you can actually see what's on there. It's an island of small semiconductors that actually handles 20 amps at 1200 volts. There's nobody else swimming in our blue water. Put it in a package and you've got something you can use immediately. Put inside that package a simple NMOS driver and you've got a normally off 20 amp switch. Combine the GAN and the CMOS and put it in a PQFN and you've now got potentially an intelligent smart switch at 20 amps. Now, you want to play with it, so what you're going to start with is a little demo board, something you can plug straight into the socket that you have a MOSFET in today. If you want to really stretch the technology, you need a custom package, something that can handle the heat that even these efficient devices are going to put off. What we're looking at here is a, a package specially designed by Arkansas Power in Arkansas, working together with us on a Canadian program that'll handle 50 amps at 1200 volts and 30 milliohms. Now this is real power from gallium nitride. Watch out silicon carbide, we're on your tails. Now, if you want something simpler, let's put a few of these devices into useful configurations in a little power module. Plan here is to have two dual half bridges in this one package. On the stand here, we've got a, uh, a definition of the partners we're working with. We have a design idea. We don't actually make anything. We work with our partners to create these solutions. It's our unique design, the island technology, that makes all of this work and distinguishes us from everybody else. We have to make GAN easy to use. If we can't do that, it'll never happen. We've got some demonstrations here of how we're working with the technology, the unique nature of our flip chip design. There's another one here that's looking at uh, the construction of our power die sitting on a CMOS driver with some intelligence inside that little PQFN package we just saw. Over here on the third screen, we're looking at these things generate a lot of heat, even if they're very efficient. If you're working at 50 kilowatts and you've got one, a 99% efficiency, you're still generating a lot of heat losses. And in a very small area, just two millimeters by two millimeters. So thermally simulating this and producing electrical simulations in SPICE becomes a very important part of the support that we need to give to our customers to make it really work. Now, if you are a customer, is interested in gallium nitride, you might not want to take the dye, think through all of the issues, and then translate it into a system that's useful for you. So we've got together with a number of specialist applications partners who are starting to put together reference systems that allow you to take our devices and actually see them operating in a real system. Here we've got a 600 watt power supply. It's mains in, 48 volts out, very useful for telecom systems and many other th systems for that matter. We've designed boards that currently work with MOS devices. The plan now is to implant on the back of those our own GAN devices and start to tweak the design to make it run at higher speeds and to reduce the amount of cooling that we put into the, the systems. Here's a real demonstration of the stuff working at its best, working together with our partner APEI using that 
power package that we saw over there, we've got a, a 2 kilowatt to 5 kilowatt boost converter that running at 100 kilohertz and 4 kilowatts of power, we're actually getting 99% efficiency. This is what we've all dreamed about from GAN technology here working today. Now the same device will switch it up to a megahertz, so imagine just how much smaller this toroid, toroid could become at higher frequencies. If you can put up with a little bit less in terms of efficiency, because unfortunately the efficiency then becomes dominated by the inductive elements, in the, the passive elements in the system. Looking just a stage over into the future, what we'd like to do with another partner of ours, Solana, is to bring isolation inside the package so we can use these devices and drive them in the high side of a switching element or in a high voltage power system. So, gallium nitride just came into real being and you heard it here first from GAN Systems at APEC.